Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here doing a quick overview slash review on the AliExpress knockoff Jesse and Hardcase. These figures popped up in AliExpress a little over a month ago now. For me, they took three weeks to show up, which is faster than the typical solid month. So I was pretty keen on that. And these guys are some pretty cool clones. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. So, ordinarily I would talk about the packaging at this segment, but there is no packaging. They are bootleg figures. They came in a bubble mailer from China. Um, they had a very nice bubble, like, air bag inside of the bubble mailer. Made sure they came nice and safe. I gotta say, I've liked the packing so far. We'll start with the accessories first. So, for Jesse, there's nothing crazy exciting here. He comes with the standard clone long rifle, and these always come kind of warped, I've noticed. Then he comes with a standard clone short rifle. These sometimes are warped. In this case, is not too bad. Setting those aside, hard case came with the exciting weapon. He came with the clone trooper minigun. And I gotta say, this is done very well. This lower rack thing down here is a little warped on mine. I might try and do some hot water on that. Another thing I've noticed is it does seem maybe a little bit small, like they took a it's a bit big to be 3.75, but it seems small to be 6 inch, I gotta say. It, uh, I just feel like it should be larger than that. But, you get them posed upright, it works. I think I'm going to invest in a resin printed one on Etsy. You can get them for about 10 bucks. So, really cool looking minigun there. I'll show you posed up with that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and look at Jesse first. <laughs> now, I find it funny that AliExpress can just Put it up and you buy it. Now, obviously, it's not to knock Hasbro because they have to get, you know, Disney approval. But, like, you know, Hasbro won't just announce anything and say, and you can order it tonight. Not pre-order. Order. You know, whereas AliExpress is just, here you are. You want Jesse? Get it. So, we're, like, three months into the Jesse figure being announced from Hasbro, and it might be coming soon from Walmart. You can just have a Jesse right now if you buy this. Not Arc Trooper Jesse, but still a Jesse. And I gotta say, the paint on this turned out phenomenal. He is really, really accurate. Um, he has the Republic crest on his forehead. Came out pretty straight. I do like that. He has the blue outline around his visor. He has the black band going all the way around. He has the correct blue punch-ins where they need to be. A little fuzzy on that one, but not bad. He has the stripes coming down the arms with just a little bit of weathering. Looks like Hasbro weathering. It fits in on the shelf. And that's the thing, is these don't look like a custom where it's like too good to be put next to a Hasbro figure. Like, these look right. So he has the nice little stripe going down the chest, the elbow pads, the knees and the gray with the white stripe through the middle. Just very well done. I don't think they're meant to be, but there's a little bit of like white swirling in the shins just to make them look scuffed. I, uh, I don't know if that was just light spray or if that's intentional, but it's very fine detail and I like it. And just Jesse looks phenomenal. I mean, he's a great addition to the shelf. Setting him back there, let's take a look at Hardcase. Now, Hardcase is a character that I've seen people ask for. You know, he'd just be a great repaint. As far as designs, when I first saw the, the bootleg, I was like, ah, oh, he's really light on the blue. Is that accurate? And that is accurate. He's mostly a white clone, just with blue line work and then the blue belt pouches. Um, something to note is the animated design doesn't have these pouches on the front of the belt. They're on the side, and the sides on his are painted blue. So they just painted these front, you know, off-centered ones blue. I think that's a decent enough recreation. He has some pretty good line work going around the torso. I have seen people say it's a little inaccurate. Like, it's supposed to, like, come up, go flat, and then angle in instead of just angle in there. But for all intents and purposes, this guy is $18. Like, he is okay. He's third-party. And honestly, it's a mistake that Hasbro would have done too. So I'm not I'm not mega conscious on that, but it is technically wrong. I'll give people that. But he looks very good. Something I have noticed, and at first I thought, oh, I just got a little paint defect. Is these stripes that go up along his forehead? You see the one on the right has deviated in, and the one on the left has deviated over. Um, I thought that was just mine. It is universal on these. I've noticed this on other ones before where there will be a deco mishap and it'll be on every single one so if you got one yours wasn't defective they're all defective one that was very obvious to me was on the 501st troopers or not the 501st the 212th 
the uh, orange on the sides of the upper chest here. You see, they just don't align on the front there. This side's way further down. This one's way further forward. And uh, every single one's like that. The Trooper, the Arc Trooper, <clears throat> I believe the Waxer and Boil. I didn't order those. I already had customs from Commander Cook. So, you know, there's if there's going to be a deviation, it's going to be a big deviation. Now, the articulation on these is solid. They are just as good as a Hasbro figure, I gotta say. Features a double barbell neck, allow them to look that high up, that far down, rotate, pivot, shoulders, the shoulder pads kind of have to work up over the torso, but when you do that, can come up to a T-pose, has a deep butterfly joint, 360 at the shoulder, with single jointed elbows that rotate, 360 on the wrist with the left hinging in and out, the right hinging up and down. I have noticed sometimes these butterfly joints are just a smidge loose, but like, that's fine. You get them two-handing a gun and it won't move. Features a mid-torso ball joint, allows them to crunch that far forward, that far back, some good side-to-side -side movement and twist. Legs can kick that far apart, really far forward, a little bit back, there's an upper thigh rotation, single-jointed knee can go a little past 90 and rotate at the knee. Feet can point straight down, pretty far forward, and there's a forward-facing pin for rocker. So it's the standard modern clone articulation. I mean, what more could you ask for on these guys, really? To do some comparisons, I'm going to show off the other bootlegs I have. So there's also a Clone Wars Apo. These came out in a set of three. Um, he features the pistol belt and the arrow on the forehead and otherwise is a normal 501st clone. Didn't really care about that one as much since I have the geared out Apo that they did earlier on. So not really a huge draw there. I also have the 212th, just unnamed ARC Trooper, and just to bring in a legitimate Hasbro clone. Let me uh, scoot these apart here, just to drop them in the center, just to give you an idea, side to side on each of them. Here's the 13th Battalion one. And as you see, other than paint, they're the same thing. It's a really good... It's a really, really good bootleg. I gotta say, I find a lot of difficulty knocking these. So, here they are posed up. You can kind of see, you can kind of fake it with that minigun on hard case, but it's definitely a little bit small. Jesse looks good with a standard blaster rifle, though. And yeah, I mean, what do I think about these guys? So, as far as the morality of the bootlegs, I did a Topical Tuesday on that a week or two ago. You should go check that out. Um... But, like, should you get these? I'm going to be honest. This version of Jesse, now that they've done the Arc Trooper Jesse, this version is never coming from Hasbro. This is the best way to get it. As far as hard case, people have been asking Hasbro to do these one-name clones, you know, these one-off clones forever, and Hasbro refuses. Um, to some degree, I understand, because, like, something like a 501st or a 332nd, people are going to buy multiple of. Whereas hard case, you're going to buy one. So I understand that there is a value in a clone repaint that will be bought in multiples, but the commanders still sell really well too. So I think by that logic, these would do well as not store exclusives, but maybe as mainline figures, you know, that way you don't have to really push them that hard. But I don't think either of these are coming to the line. And that's kind of my morality on these too, is you're not going to, you're not going to put Hasbro in any disposition by these. But if you go on AliExpress and you buy their 13th Battalion Trooper, even though every GameStop everywhere has a bunch of these on the shelf, that's maybe a little bit less moral in my book. These are bootleg body, absolutely. Hasbro didn't make a nickel on these. That is absolutely a stolen sculpt. But in a paint job that's never going to be done by Hasbro, so it's not really a bootleg as much as a custom, but it's still totally a bootleg. So it's a gray area. But I think you're not going to get in trouble for buying these. You're going to get in trouble for making these. So there's no issue with you purchasing these. They're customs, by technicality, sort of. Um, and I think they're great additions to the shelf. The articulation is fine. The quality is fine. You're going to enjoy them. You're going to see little defects here and there. Like I mentioned, the head paint there or the uh, torso paint on the 212th arc. But that's just the name of the game with bootlegs. So, solid additions to the shelf. You'll be happy with them for the price. You know, I mean, it was like 42 bucks after tax or whatever. Can't beat it. So, I'm happy. I think you'll be happy. And that's it. Thanks for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. 
I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, may the force be with each and every one of you. Bye.